Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, just talking a little bit about uh, end of support for Windows 11 and also when versions expire. Uh, so of course we now got 22H2, it's official, The what they call Windows 11 2022 update is now online. Once again, some of you don't see it and that's normal, it's not being offered to everybody at the same time. Slowly it will appear for some that don't see it right now at some point. The best thing to do, of course, is to wait for it to appear in Windows Update. Don't rush it for the most part. Now, this new version, um, of course, means that there's a new date for end of support for the version of Windows 11. Windows 11 has 24 months of support per version. So that means if you're on and still are on the first version, which would say build 22,000 here on the panel with Winver, you are still supported for a year. That means if you don't want to move on to 22H2 right now, uh, look, you won't be asked to move on or forced to move on before at least the second half of 2023. So that means you still got many months left that you can just stay on the version you have and you're fine. The end of support is 24 months, so it will arrive probably somewhere in October of next year for version 22,000, which is 21H2. Of course, if you're moving to 22H2, well, that resets the cycle to 24 months again. That means this version is good to go until October or November of 2024. So you got two years now that you can just stay there and relax. So that's the way it works. Now, what's interesting in Windows 11 is that there is no end of support or end of life. I see people post, you know, well, it's 10 years, well, it's this date, well, it's no, no, no there's no date. Date never mentioned, never had in any way a end of life date. You know, we know Microsoft has given Windows 10 an end of life date, which is October 2025, three years from now. Windows 11 does not have one. Windows 11, they have not given any end of life date. It might appear or will appear probably at some point someday, but for now, there's no such thing. As for the rest, uh, Windows 12, still speculation more than anything else because we still don't have much information about any of that. Uh, but, you know, if it goes through what we think and the fact that now we have the new three uh, years per version of Windows, uh, that simply means that, um, you know what, somewhere in 2025, 2024, sorry, which will be three years from the first version of Windows 11. Who knows? There could be a Windows 12 in there somewhere. But for now, uh, it's rather, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's still something we're not sure and we don't know about. And we don't think that Microsoft has at all started in any way um, doing a, um, you know, starting to work on Windows 12 or anything. So Windows 11... There's still there's no end of life, but there is an end of support, which is a different thing, which is 24 months starting from now. So if you're on the first version, you still have a year before it ends. And if you're moving to 22H2 or this one, you'll have uh, two years starting from now with, uh, you know, before end of support of Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.